Dear friends, dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity to address you remotely. I wish I could have been among you in Riga because the time from 2002 to 2004 when I was chair of Helcom was very memorable and fruitful. Specifically, working together with executive secretaries Ostoyski and Brusendorf, as well as many other excellent people. It's a great honor for me and for Latvia that this celebration takes place in Riga. Back in 2002 to 2004, right as Latvia and Baltic states were joining the European Union and NATO, taking up the presidency was both a challenge in the political context of Europe and a great opportunity for Latvia to make a meaningful contribution in addressing the environmental challenges of the Baltic Sea region. The early 2000s was a remarkable time, not only during the Latvian chairmanship. I would like to highlight just a few of the key milestones. I was very happy to chair the first joint ministerial meeting in Bremen in 2003. It was significant because all parties acknowledged the need for an ecosystem approach to the management and sustainable development of marine environment, which is now one of the main overarching principles. The following year, in 2004, we hosted the 30th anniversary conference of Helcom in Riga, just a few months before the historical EU enlargement. It changed the legal landscape of the Baltic Sea as it then became an internal EU sea, excluding the waters under Russian jurisdiction. I remember back then having an optimistic outlook about involving Russia in the protection of the Baltic Sea. There was very good collaboration with the staff in the technical meetings. However, I experienced that at the ministerial level, they opposed many of the commonly agreed ideas. Russia very quickly proved it does not care for the environment and common Western values, but only for using the Baltic Sea to threaten and provoke its neighbors. Lastly, perhaps one of the most important achievements of this decade was adoption of the first Baltic Sea Action Plan and eventually in 2009, the EU strategy of the Baltic Sea region, which was the first of the macro regional strategies in Europe. Overall, during the decade as, as Latvia and other Baltic Sea countries joined the EU, Helcom became the platform of the region. Indeed, there lies its importance because environmental protection requires a common approach. Going forward, we should continue to address the issue of the large amounts of chemical weapons dumped into the Baltic Sea after the Second World War. I started working on it already in Helcom and continue doing it now in the European Parliament. I wish you a very fruitful event. Thank you. Thank you very much.